How are you, buddy? I'm great. I'm great. Um, I've been. I, I had a question for you. How many people do you think have Peyronie's disease? Which? What's the disease? Peyronie's disease. Peyronie's. Yeah. yeah I don't like know. You, have you seen ads? I don't think I have seen the Peyronie's disease ads. I see. I would say I see an, an ad for it maybe every hour. I okay. Don't know if anyone does anyone else watch golf? <laughs> <laughs> but it's a disease I never knew existed. Okay. And they're very high budget commercials, which makes me believe it's an issue. Yeah. And it's basically an issue where your penis has a, a very a dramatic uh, angle to You're it. being serious right now. Yeah. You watch, uh, the Golf Channel has multiple Peyronie's disease it's, ads. It's just like okay. single packs of Viagra and <laughs> Peyronie's disease. Okay, gotcha. And they demonstrate it with a giant, like an eggplant that has a bend in it, or like a full squash, but it has a weird wow. thing. And I'm looking at it thinking, What's is this even a drug? <laughs> this is like a little rubber you, mallet that someone. Do you comes think you're in. supposed to eat the squash? <laughs> I feel like it's if that's your issue, you're good. Like it's not if you have an eggplant, you don't need a drug. It's just like a pat on the back. Like get out there, buddy, have fun. But it anyway. must be. It must be. Uh, it must affect uh, golf. That that seems to be the thing. Maybe it's like some. It throws Maybe. off your swing oh, if it's yeah, too yeah. severe. Yeah, if you have that too big a dog leg. That <laughs> 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 throws you to the left. <laughs> anyway, that was on my mind backstage, yeah. but I could come back in and start again. <laughs> well, I, you, it's not like you don't have that much else going on, so no, I no, understand no, no. why Peyronie's would be the first it's thing we talk about. Thing. <laughs> you had a baby. Congratulations. Yes, thank you. You had a much. baby boy. Yes. Cosmo. I did. Thank you, yes. Um, hey, little baby Cosmo. Cosmo yeah. is a great name. I was very happy to hear it. I think it like fits very well with you and Scarlett. I think a Cosmo is just going to be perfect for the family. But how'd you come up with a name? We were just we were just assigned it at the hospital. Oh really? Yeah. That's people, a thing now. Yeah, people. I think the hospitals now are just so overwhelmed <laughs> that when the baby comes out, they're just like, oh, that's Frank. Go, oh, this, you know, whatever. Because they're just. I mean, so many people now are coming in. Of course, as you know, like with yeah. Peyronie's disease. <laughs> And so the hospitals, like, do they don't think, even know. I, can I ask you a question? Yeah. Do you think de Blasio should have locked down New York because of Peyronie's? <laughs> I mean, at some point, businesses have to open up. You know? You know? People gotta back no matter how there. bad the bend is. <laughs> they're always like, they're flat in the bend. That's what they say. Flat in the bend. Yeah, that's the. <laughs> can we, and we could get that trending tonight. I don't know who I ask about. Who does your trends? <laughs> what? I don't think anybody. Oh, no. okay, all right, all right. Uh, but that would be nice to trend flat in the bend. Yeah. Um, but as a baby Cosmo, and now uh, it's, it is a unique name. How is yes. uh, how did your family react? Uh, my family uh, is very supportive always. My mom, I would say, was slightly thrown by it um, and didn't quite understand it. I, I don't know if she thought it was kind of like a hippie thing, <laughs> right? But she, uh, you know, like a dirty hippie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That would be a nightmare. So negative about these hippies, <laughs> these damn hippies. Um, but I, she, she would call us and, and say, you know, like after three or four days, she'd be like, Cosmo. She'd be like, and now is it final? <laughs> like, did you submit the birth certificate? And we're like, oh, yeah, we did that at, at the hospital. And she's like, oh, okay, interesting. Because I was reading that there's also a name Cosimo with an I. So that could also be an option. Maybe she you preferred Cosimo. She was like, maybe you call him Cosimo, but then you know that's his real name. But then you could call him still Cosmo. What was the upside of Cosimo? <laughs> I don't know. I don't yeah. know. And then because we live, you know, she lives in Staten Island. Eventually, she started meeting um, various members of the Italian community uh -huh. who have a lot of Cosmo relatives. Ah. And so then she would call and she would say, I met someone. And they said their uncle's name is Cosmo. <laughs> So it is okay. <laughs> I was like, this is, uh, it's, lo it's locked in. And then, then she goes, I, we, there's also a patron saint called Cosmos. So that's another option. <laughs> we don't need more, op worse options, variants on Cosmo. But thanks, Mom. But now it's officially Cosmo. But now we did lock. And you are going, this is very exciting, because uh, uh, this will be the first picture anyone has seen. Oh, yeah, we haven't shown anyone a, a photo of... I'll, I'm going to put it over there. Yeah, he's a very, he's very, very cute guy, and... Um, Do you now? when did you get this picture? Is this, because I'm always fascinated, like... I think this is probably either the day he was born or, okay. or the first day home. Okay, first gotcha. Home. All right, let's take a look. <laughs> and 
So, and the hair is coming in great. Yeah. I mean, that's... I love that you, you know, that thing about babies where you can't even tell if they're like a boy or a girl. Right, like, yeah, and, uh, we get that a lot. Is yeah. it she, is it, which the, is Nicole? <laughs> and, and we're like, Looks no, like, it's... it's you, I see a lot of Scarlet. It is, a, I don't, I hate saying that, but it, I do feel like I lost it, and it's mostly Scarlet, you know? I, I want to see myself, but yeah, it's hard. Um, did we talk about your friendship with Che? You guys have a nice history of giving each other uh, mm -hmm. bad gifts mm -hmm. as a show of affection. Mm -hmm. Did he give you a baby gift? He, uh, I would say, I, I was a more mature Che. Okay. He got us a onesie, a That's couple very, onesies. A useful, yeah. Very practical, useful gift, which was nice. Um. And he said, I'm sending you a onesie. And um, this, then this was the onesie that, uh, that he, uh, we got uh, this one, uh, hashtag yeah. uh, da daddy is over party. Yep. <laughs> yep. And hashtag cancel dad. <laughs> cancel dad, yeah. Um, so that was really fun to have your, your child wearing. And it's, well, it's, it's remember, it's, it looks, it'll look, it'll, it'll look, oh yeah, we, that's, that. that's the completed look. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> the face really matches the hashtag. He's um, like, well, it, he is like canceled because he's like, what did Doug just say? <laughs> <laughs> he get, it's so funny now. Anything that good that happens in life, like having a baby, half the people like I post, you know, posted a thing about we had a baby. Half the comments are, oh my god, congrats, and half are canceled jokes <laughs> <laughs> because Che just gets canceled jokes like <laughs> trending. And then the people who are saying congrats, then someone's like canceled jokes, and then the first person's like, why? Did, why? What happened? What did I miss? <laughs> So he's a great friend. He's a good friend. He's a great friend. You're lucky to have him by your side.